this example is again the same thing. But now they said you, you don't need to leave it in terms of pi. Right? We don't have to leave it in terms of pi. So what I'll do is I'll still multiply this by pi over 180 degrees. Again, some was left out, so we're left with 216.35. Was it negative? Yeah. Over 180 times pi. So all I'm going to do is just take my calculator. It says round to three decimal places. So I'm just going to take negative 216.35 divided by 180 times pi. And rounded to three decimal places is negative 3.77 or 78 or 76. All right? So that is in radians. That's radians. So if you were to graph that radius, one radian, two radians, three radians. And that's like 0.7 of radian, right? Something like that. Yes? So you, you divided top by bottom and multiply by 2. Yeah, I mean, you can multiply 216 times pi, then divide it by 180. Same thing. Yes? Yeah, go ahead, finish. Why didn't you divide the pi by, by yeah, why didn't you pi divided by 6 for the degree? Because in the answer, in the first question, it said leave, in a, leave as a multiple of pi. So what that means is it wants you to leave pi in the answer. Here it says find the exact value. Yes, oh, okay. and then so yes. 90 degrees is what's called radian? No. Where'd you get that? That's, one, that's like roughly one radian right there. If you take that radius and wrap around, that's one radian. Two radians, three radians. No. Yes. Why did you start from there and start counting radians? When we're talking about angles and negative, you don't have a negative measurement, but you have a negative direction. So when you're going down, that's negative. OK? Yes? It's just my estimation. Again, remember, this is a radius. So if you think of that as like a wet noodle, and then wrap it around the circle. So take this, get it wet, and that's roughly around the same distance. OK? Make sense?